Hey guys, what's up? Hector from Team Breakthrough here. I'll bring you guys a updated deck profile on uh, Power Piles for the uh, September 2016 format. So, like, this is a deck like I've been working on. So I've been trying out the Magician build with the Magic Specters, and that that build just really didn't work out for me. So I decided to try out this build. It's the Dark Pendulum build that I was playing last format, but without keyboard, obviously. So uh, I'll show you guys the the list, and I'll and I'll explain some of my choices. So obviously a uh, triple sorcerer, he's still the bread and butter of the deck. Um, not much to explain there. Uh, still the one uh, joker, uh, one silver claw. Uh, the new addition is one radish source. So this is the card that kind of replaced the, uh, what's it called, the uh, monkey keyboard. Obviously it's not as powerful as keyboard, but it, it's like an inherent special. So this is like give you accelerator where you can special summon it if, your opponent, if you can control more uh, monsters than your opponent. And um, it can take it can take attack away from your opponent's monster and put it on yours, which is pretty big. It can help uh, deal with like beefy monsters. So uh, this card is definitely uh, uh, like really good, and I've even considered playing multiples of it, but I, I don't have I don't have the space for it yet. And um, I'm playing one guitar to one lizard draw. Um, I cut the second lizard draw. It, it was just breaking too much, so, so I just opted to not play that second one anymore. Uh, There's a really good ratio. I'm not drawing this as often anymore, so yeah, not much to say there. Um, yeah, still for the perform piles, uh, two second donkey. Uh, I do play Pendulum Rising, so this card's really good, obviously, and especially with Sky Iris and like um, Master, uh, you can always set up scales that you can break, so you can get a search up for this. So this card's still really good. Um, I'm playing double uh, of the Unicorn card. Um, this card's just really good in my opinion, just because it's a high skill that you can search with Iris at all times, and like high skills are pretty like needed in this deck. Uh, and then the one Phoenix with the, for the Sky Iris. And then for the Draco Slayers, uh, one Luster, Triple Master, uh, one Lector, one Vector. Uh, this engine actually got better uh, this format just because the Lure of Darkness is at three now. So drawing this isn't necessarily a brick anymore. Um, so yeah. And then Triple Abductor. Uh, this card is obviously really good with terraforming, so not much to say explain there. Uh, not for like the Dark Engine, I'm playing double uh, Margetta Knight. Um, yeah, it's pretty good at two. Uh, one summoner monk. Uh, I cut it down to one. Uh, this like I I actually like all my spells. So this discarding them is only good when I open like double skyers or double turn for me, something like that. And then uh, what I dump off uh, I'm gonna get on it, uh, one Sephiroth, uh Easy rank four plays can get around spirit dragon like of course out of negation. Uh, one shadow dragon to out uh, main deck anti spell fragrances, and then one farfa to out the floodgate monsters with uh, like. Which is really good because now a lot of Monarch players are uh, main decking Vanity's Fiend, so uh, Armageddon Knight becomes a one card out to like the Fiend. So yeah. Uh, the spells, uh, Triple Lord Dark just now. Uh, not only do you have searchable darks, but uh, like you can hard draw them sometimes, so this card is really good with um, for unbreaking your hand. Uh, this is actually one of the main reasons I chose to play this version of the deck, just because uh, it uh, maximizes consistency. Uh, double Skyrus, uh, double terraforming, like really good, such as your skills. Uh, double uh, pendulum rising, uh, it, it's literally anything you want it to be, uh, and it's really good with monk. You can pitch it like just to maintain more uh, board presence. Uh, double space typhoon, um, yeah, people are still making anti spells, so there's no reason not to play this, and this can unclog your skills too. Uh, one reinforcement, uh, reinforcements of the army to search uh, armor get a knight, and there's also summoner monk uh, food if you ever needed to be. Same thing as Draco face off, like it's really good, but if you draw your uh, uh, too many of the what's it called Draco overlords, you can just pitch it for monk. So yeah, that's it for the main deck. It's around uh, 41 or 42 cards. So, uh, yeah, that's really good because uh, I'm gonna uh, what's it called Allure's at uh, three now, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, for the extra deck, uh, double Dinoster, pretty standard stuff I feel like, and then one Ignister. Uh, then I'm playing one April Soul Nightmare. Uh, this is something that changed. Uh, I I feel like if you can make this first against um, like almost like a hundred, like ninety percent of the meta, then uh, you're in a really good position because like against Blue Eyes you can book their uh, their spirits or their uh, alternatives, and against BA obviously is really good because like you book their um, BAs and then they just lose from there because they can't really special. Uh, one Dweller uh, obviously is pretty good. I was like, contemplating playing the second one, but there's just like no room in the extra deck. Uh, one emerald obviously is good to recycle your stuff. It's really good turn two after you make a really established board, and I let your opponent manage to place through it. Uh, you can just uh, emerald everything back and just make it make the board again, which is really good. Uh, one Manchester, self explanatory. Uh, one Steel Swim Roach. Uh, it's really good against Blue Eyes like game two because like you already know what you're playing against, and against uh, the Metaphor deck if they uh, if they have too many of the level sevens or the Kieran and the extra you can just negate the summon. 
Uh, Dire Wolf, uh, good against back row. Castell, spot removal. Uh, I'm playing one Rebellion. Uh, this is really good because like you can just take uh, what's it called the monsters attack away, so you can just beef this up and then attack over anything. Uh, key Beetle for when you side floodgates, uh, you can just protect it. Um, the token package, uh, self exploratory, and the one hole Parpinger. Yeah, so that's that was the updated list on the, the perform power deck. Uh, definitely let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been this has been Hector from Team Breakthrough signing out.